Welcome to the sign up forms and landing pages model. In this model, we are going to learn how to create our sign up forms and then start getting more subscribers and contacts into our lists. Let's see how to do it in Igoi. You have two ways to access into your forms. You can do it from the lists and for that you should find your lists and then click forms. And in this case, you will only see the forms associated to that specific list. The other way is just going to the web menu and then clicking forms. In this page, you can see all the forms that you have in your account. Okay, some tools that you can use to manage your forms. You can search in them by using this search bar and then you can filter them. For example, I'm going to filter by language and I have to, okay? And you will find as well some information that you can see in the first glance and some options for every single form, okay? You can access the results from here and you can access two more options from this button, okay? You can edit, deploy it, get the link of the form, preview it, access the options of your form, delete it and clone it. In this case, I'm going to create a new one to show you how you can do it. For that, I'm going to click create form. Then I'm going to select the list that I want to assign to it. Okay. And my form language. In this case, English and OK. In this page, you have some possibilities that you can choose as a base to work on. Okay, so you have a simple and small form that you can select and then add it. You have a large one and then you have the landing page format. And if we scroll down, we can see some templates that we can use. For example, I'm going to select this one here, okay? If I'm not okay with this one, I just have to click preview step, but I'm going to the next step. There we go. What do we have here? Most important thing, you have these two tabs and this one is your working area to edit your form and the other one is the working area to edit your layout the visual of your landing page. Okay, I'm going to start by editing the layout and the first thing that I'm going to do is to delete this item here. Okay, you can see that each item has some options such as move, add a new item, duplicate and delete. In this left side, you will find elements that you can drag and drop to your working area. I'm going to select an image, okay, and I'm going to select an image to insert here. Here I have my image, okay, and I can click here and edit my type font. I'm going to select and change it, okay. I want to change as well the color of that. Okay, I'm going to edit this text as well, then I want to center it, so I'm going to find the editor, okay, to the center, and actually I don't need more elements in this side. Okay, so I'm okay like that, but if you want, you can drag and drop the items and then you will find the item options that you can edit. I'm going to edit now my form and I'm going to add a new field. I want to add the language option here, all right, and I'm going to just edit this phrase. And then I'm going to select another type font just to keep it all with the same style. And now I want to change 
these colors okay this button here i want it in another color as well i'm okay like this and i'm going to go back to my layout because i need to add a space over this form here i will add this spacer here okay and then i'm going to put some space okay and i want to preview to see how is it going there we go this is our form and in this case i want some information from my new contacts and actually they are the fields that you have defined it in the options of your list so the languages that you see here are the same that you have defined it in your list okay i'm okay like that and let's just have a look in the options of our form okay i'm going to type my title form perfect my form language is english okay then i can explore and define some other options here such as the double opt-in option and if i activate it i can edit here the email that my contacts will be receiving to confirm it okay i can add as well a tag to the people who subscribe this form and if you scroll down you will find some other options such as limit subscriptions the double opt-in email for example and you can define as well the message for subscription successful failed or confirmation okay you just have to click customize and then you can do it on these spaces here okay i'm going to save and now i want to deploy it what are my options i can see them by clicking here and i can add another deployment i will always have a link that i can copy and share it whenever i want and if i want other options i will click add another deployment and i will find here other options to make my form public if you are not so sure about one of these options just mouse over this question mark and you will see more information i'm going to select the html because i want to show it in my website okay and i'm going to select iframe then i need to copy this code here and i'm going to paste it in my wordpress website what do i have to do in this case i'm going to look forward my page that i'm going to edit and i need a new content block okay it will be an html one then i'm going to paste the code of my form here update preview and there we go here i have my form if i want to make any change i just go to go back to the edition page and then update it okay so we have our sign up form in our website or just in our social media pages then i want to see how is it going to see that i'm going to click results there you go here we can see some results of a sign up form what do we have here we have an option to export our results and we can see the results as well in this page so i can see how many visits it has the rejection rate and the effectiveness i can see as well the performance over time and we will find more information scrolling down okay so here are the answers the submissions and we will find more information below this information is related to the extra fields that we have in our form 
okay so we have the number of subscriptions and its rate compared with the global results then I have information about the submissions and here we can find the answers of our subscribers and going forward to the last tab we will find the results by deployment what does it mean we will see the way that we have deployed our form and then we can analyze the visit rate the rejection rate and the effectiveness rate and to finish we also have access from this page to our form that we can preview here and we have as well the report for our double opt-in email